this is Blue Box Angel once again with my final marathon of Erie, Indiana. This time I'm doing episode 15, but really 16. No brain, no paying. That is very true. Also, my working theory right now on the gray haired kid is he was an old man and somehow turned himself into a child. Probably has something to do with the plus and, and minus sign on his hands. That's all I got right now. But enough of that. Boop. Simon and I have decided, decided to make, make a rare appearance, appearance with the family, stuffing, stuffing ourselves, ourselves at the Dragon in the Black Hole Chinese, Chinese restaurant. restaurant. It's, it's a place where the egg rolls are too shabby, and the fortune cookies are the kind you can only find in here. Mine says, we're willing to tell the tale. Mm-hmm. I don't get it. You will see the world through the eyes of the enemy? Dad's fortune was not only weird, it came true. Your immediate future will be interrupted by a mysterious stranger. There's not enough money in the world for Ryan to do a lot of that! One month rain! And then not part of the plan! And the old man! No, he seems like a well-educated chap. Some people in here said this guy was insane, but nobody had ever bothered to find out who he really was, or had help. And he wanted my corona, but no, no! Oh, man. Should we? Don't even think about it, Mom. That guy is the mad whack. Seems right. Call him whack because he used your ass to kill his kid. Oh, come on. I heard rumors he was here his last way to live. What's the liberal? I'll explain to you when you're older. Well, I don't care if he's a liberal or an axe murderer. I want you to always stay clear of him. Understood? Yes, Mom. He seems like such a nice guy. Come on, Shh. Does he look like an axe murderer? Well, he sure didn't Oh, I've seen you in the intro! It's Poison Ivy! Disco Poison Ivy! And another death! Yay! Or no. That's what I do.
owner. No money, no ID. Or got a gun on one Yeah, he looks fabulous. Chappy didn't seem like the kind of guy that someone would want to kidnap. But then again, he didn't seem like an actor or a liberal. And what do you know? I don't care telling you the tiger. You can take your her frosted flakes and go somewhere else. That's pre-game rituals. These commercials suck, so go away! One of yours. Let's do this. Kellogg's Frosted Flakes. They're great. Whatever you do to prepare, show your stripes. Well, at least that's a positive one. Oh, please, please, I believe she is trying to seduce him. I swear I did not stick a bond with Carol. But did you take what a liar? The streets weren't safe for our newly scrub pal. At least not with the ninja grandma again. Fortunately, Macy didn't want to let you think that Cindy was qualified for it. Uh, Cindy! What? This is, uh, Simon's Uncle Morris from Latvia. Uh, nice meet you. He doesn't speak any English. Oh. <laughs> The electron miner is finished! Excuse me? He speaks a little English. You know, electron modulator. That kind of thing. Hmm. Um, me speak so good inger ish. You know what, Theo? Watch us talk to Uh, I guess not. Come on, aboard! Sit right here! We'll be right back. Ooh, what are you gonna give me some time to we didn't have much to go on. Just the words to run and they kept repeating over and over. The bottom was that you could tell a lot about a guy by what he kept in his shop. <laughs> sure, there was a lot of junk, but there was also about a dozen gadgets and crazy inventions. What's that thing? It's an antique thing called a What is this strange contraption? Chelsea had the knack. Simon, look. There's a song in my room. I've heard people get a song stuck in their head. Chelsea's got it bad. Best costume ever. Donna. It's just the image. So stupid. Big figures. Rain, too. That treat. Listen. Don't you put down Dr. Gladiator's big man's treat like that. It was a beautiful thing. Hi! <laughs> I don't mean to disturb you, it's just that Simon might have gotten mentioned that little more in these minutes. No problem. We were just watching Tadana. Ah, Tadana. Yeah, that's horrible. 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 Yeah, that's no, I couldn't 
I'm starting to think that he does not have a brain. Oh, <laughs> oh goody, hello there. I was wondering, when am I going to see Patrick Stewart do something? Strongbow. Could have fooled me. Charles Fernell was the youngest man ever to calculate pie without scratch paper. He was brilliant and very, very sexy. In 1978, he invented the most powerful and valuable invention since the atom bomb. The brain lies. It could turn any ordinary man into a genius, and any genius into this. I see. I had the world at my fingertips. Everything was set. And one day, I returned from lunch. The brain either is destroyed, the blueprints are gone, and Charles is like this. My only hope is that he has enough brain cells left to build it again. Wait a minute. Maybe you're right. Yes. It was weird. Now, we didn't have a mug or the whacker or whoever he was. But we had all his stuff. What amazing stuff it was. Even more amazing. Somehow, it would have been together. Still waiting. What's going with this thing in the Bet this goes. Hey, all the business. <laughs> and I'm kid, and it obviously we got a train new conversion. I knew it. Simon, you're right. Who's Simon? My name is Charles. For now, I like cigarettes. <laughs> Yay, child smoking! Implied adultery, death, and child smoking. Yay. Yeah. Starting intellect. Pretty snob personality. In an attenuated room, made from an ordinary street cat. How ingenious. Wait, wait a second. You're telling me that you are the smartest man in the world? Yes. Yes, I am. Okay, then. What's 42 times 106? 4,486. Mm. Genius, Simon? And because of said genius, your friend Simon is actually on his audio tape. Once again, I am Charles Burnell. So, Simon, I mean, Charles. When do I get Simon back? I am not abandoning this boy's body. And unless you can assist me in locating my rightful body, I will gladly go through puberty again. But that could be so I have been on that tape for over a decade. And I have a lot of work to do. But who's the president now? George Bush. And then it closed by the president. Okay. I can just pack up this tape. Real me. Soon as possible. Hey, just wait till his son gets in office. <laughs> Charles so happy if he could get them back. Well, I'm sure 
this is Miss Danforth. Um, hi. That's my son, Marshall. He's shaving now. And this is Simon Holmes, Marshall's friend. Can you say hi, Simon? Oh, I suppose I could. As a late block, a walker person. Why is he going to be but in ten seconds, no more about them than if they ever know themselves. Hello, sugar buns. <laughs> I mean, Miss Danford. Uh, uh, Miss Danford is that bum, uh, I mean, uh, Mr. Cornell's sister. Uh, she, she's coming here to care for her brother. Care for him? You think I'm a bad facade technique? Just wait till I know about Brightwater? <laughs> yeah, you gave away your cover. Uh, sorry. Uh, sorry, 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 sorry. Well, I don't find it. Miss. Uh, Dang it. <sighs> this seems familiar. I wonder what it is. Come on. You're just inconveniencing me. Why can't I? Look stupid. It's gonna be Simon in there. Shut up, 
baby cakes. Now that is the top. Here's your Christmas bonus. Thanks. Now, make yourself scarce while I get back what's rightfully mine. Just like that, you're slowing us out. Unless you got a better offer. I think so. See you in the next life. <laughs> <laughs> Come on. Conscience. When you're all alone in this world, it makes it tough to do anything but think about yourself. Meanwhile, things were looking so hot for Simon and me. Darwin? Chaos, we would pay. Darwin? No rings, no witnesses. The boys at the committee to real life taught me that one. Bye bye. Switch their bar uh, switch their brains. I saw the way you were looking. I loved you once. I never loved you. You're a dreamer and a fool. Fanfiction writers go. <laughs> I got it. Hey, Dad. Carry on what you said to feel right. Wait. Ugh. You shut up, Wayne. You're making a big mistake. It's me, Marshall. It's anything you want. Huh? Don't listen to him, kid. He's her. Nail her. Thousand bucks in it for me. Um. Why can't he have the money? Wait. Ah! You were telling us to have a thousand bucks. <laughs> <laughs> it's called having a conscience. You will see the world through eyes of many. It came true. <laughs> a few days later, I got a package from Chappie. He said he destroyed the brain lights once and for all, and that he and Sugar Buns were moving to the country to try and work things out. Oh, yeah. Chappie also thanked me for stopping to help him out. <laughs> Okay. That was a nice episode. <laughs> Yay, great hair kid had a conscience! <laughs> and, and again, I'm still thinking he was an old man turned into a child. Anyway, this is Blue Box Angel. Until next time, see you next episode!